There's me preaching about how I'm not a capitalist whilst I wear an Enjoy Coca-Cola, very capitalistic -y Christmas jumper. <laughs> Even worse, it is from the fast fashion brand known as H&M. Anyway, that's right, today we are killing Father Winter. I do very much apologize, sir, but you are being brutally murdered. Well, not that that's a problem. Some people do like it a bit rough. Every single time I start a video, I'm like, I'm gonna make this video not demonetize this time. It's not gonna have limited ads and it always happens. I am too lazy to build my own Christmas house, so I am just stealing one off the gallery. I know, I was just feeling lazy Easy, all right? We just need some minor adjustments. When I say minor adjustments, I mean giving Chantal Chantal a scatty room because I don't like her and she really deserves nothing more than to be punished. Shanice Shanice, on the other hand, is going to be getting the Christmas bedroom of her dreams. You know what? Shanice has been killed off so many times over the last year. She deserves a bit of fun. She deserves something nice. Although I wouldn't say the seasons pack sofa is nice. Do you know what? I was just about to remove this object because I didn't want it and then I saw what was underneath a great big void with is that like a tree or something and in that void well I guess I'll just put that back see I'm not sure if we should have Chantal or Shanice try and woohoo with Father Christmas or Father Winter I feel like maybe they should compete for his love see who's able to get him first Chantal Chantal is looking around on the rocking chair like oh my god what am I in for this time what are you gonna do to me I mean we may as well use Chantal Chantal how to set up all the decorations. Absolutely lovely. Oh my god, not the welcome wagon. Summer holiday, Liberty Lee, you are the bane of my life and I hate you. Chantal being the bitch she is, she is going to open a present early because she's absolutely clueless. Wonder what she's gonna get. I hope she gets a lump of coal. Imagine if she got the lump of clay. <laughs> Strictly business known. Congratulations, Chantal. You can add that to your very scatty room. I'm not sure what to do whilst we wait for Father Winter. Should we just build a snowman together? If I know Shanice and Chantal, it will be cursed. That's right, it is cursed, probably because Chantal helped. If we get Shanice to do it by herself, I bet she'll do a better job. Come on, Shanice. Should we get Chantal, Chantal to do one as well and see who does the best? Although Chantal keeps animation glitching, so it looks like she's not gonna be building a snowman anytime soon. Chantal, stop animation glitching. Right, I'm turning your autonomy off because you are being an absolute wanker. Or is it that you can't build like two on a lot at the same time? Can the game not handle that? Are we just gonna have to do like one at a time? Is that how it works? That's rather disappointing. No, all right, I'm gonna, oh for Christ's sake, I'm gonna have to go manage worlds and come back because the bloody game is glitching. I apologize, this was supposed to be a very happy Christmas video and it's not so happy. <laughs> Anyway, I've had a puff on my Honey Apple Elf Bar. I feel a lot better. Now they can make them at the same time. We'll just ignore this trash that Shanice made now because they're actually doing them at the same time and see who's gonna do a better job. I wonder who'll do it first. I bet Shanice Shanice will. Okay, Chantal, you made, that looks like, you know like the, it was it like the fat cat from Spyro? You know that thing in Spyro that used to steal all your gems? It looks a bit like him. Shanice on the other hand, oh my God! <laughs> Shanice being extremely catty, she basically made the exact same snowman as Chantel, but she made it better. <laughs> That is because Shanice is an absolute coward. She hates her sister. Should we destroy Chantal Snowman because it was literally so tragic? Oh my gosh, Shanice is really taking her anger out on that snowman. Chantal just doesn't even care. For Shanice's punishment, Chantal Chantal will also be destroying her snowman too. Although it doesn't really get destroyed, it just fades away in an animation because they didn't animate it getting destroyed properly. I'm sorry for being catty. I wonder who would win if they had a snowball fight. See, I feel like Chantal would win because because she is quite rough and dangerous. She has had a hard life. She's like, oh my God, stop hitting me, you bitch. <laughs> She's like, oh my God, stop. Although they're not really having a snowball fight. I'm not sure what they're doing. They're just standing around in like an idle animation glitch. Chantal is getting so pissed off right now. Oh my God, not the vampire at the door. Halloween was a couple of months ago. Go away, please. Sir, I said send home. I literally said send home. Thank you, goodbye. Do you know what? I think we should both open a present early because uh, do you know what? I know this is really like embarrassing and I feel really bad for admitting this, but like I do open all my presents on Christmas Eve. <laughs> I just have no self-control. Like, I literally have none. I just get too excited. And at like 10, 11 p.m. on Christmas Eve, I honestly just open up everything. I just can't help myself. Like, if you get me a present, I will be opening it on Christmas Eve. Anyway, what presents did we get? Shanice got a fossilized egg. <laughs> 
Right, that can go in your bedroom, Shanice. Don't you just love your fossilised egg, Shanice? Chantal, Chantal got something that went in the household inventory, so I wonder what she got. She got a train set, train set caboose to be exact. I'm not sure what that means, but go off Chantal. So it is officially Christmas day. Do you know what I love to have for breakfast on Christmas morning? I love to have bellinis with cream cheese and salmon. I don't know why, but I have it every single morning, every single Christmas. I just love it. We can't do that in the Sims 4. Should we just have eggs and bacon? I'm absolutely praying Shanice does not set the kitchen on fire or it will be a Christmas disaster. Thank God she is not. Both of them are sitting at the kitchen table. Little do they know in a moment they shall be trying to seduce the sugar daddy known as Father Winter in order to A, steal his money and B, kill him. And yes, Chantal Chantal is being lumped with the washing up and of course she is doing it in the bathroom sink. We have to give gifts but Chantal ignores this tradition because she is mean. Isn't that lovely? Well, Shanice can give gifts. So Shanice, why don't you give Chantal something? Should we give, do you know what we should give Chantal? We should give Chantal a fossilized egg. <laughs> Here you go, Chantal. Have a fossilized egg. Are you not so happy with your fossilized egg? She's like, oh my god, what have you given me? <laughs> oh my god, they actually don't like each other anymore. Chantal can open a present from the pile of boxes. What did she got? An all-in-one powerful PC. We'll get you, Chantal. That's the best thing I think that's ever happened to you in your life. I'd like a powerful PC. Mine is in absolute state and it breaks down every five minutes. The last thing that we both have left is just to seduce Father Winter. Oh, we need to cook our grand Christmas meal. Do you know what? I found out the other day that American people have like takeaways like Chinese on Christmas day. I was really shocked. In the UK, we have a roast dinner on Christmas day. It's, I guess it's kind of like the US Thanksgiving meal, but like more Christmassy. Cause you know, like in the UK, every single shop is completely shut. Like you can't order a takeaway. You can't even go to the supermarket to buy anything. Like everything is shut down. My most interesting Christmas day was when I lived in Japan and I had Domino's pizza for my Christmas meal because in Japan they don't have ovens like they literally don't have them they just have a hob and they have microwaves and that's all they have oh and they have rice cookers so I just thought I may as well order a Domino's on Christmas day and that's what I had can't say it was the most special Christmas meal I've ever had but like it was all right I heard apparently the UK is officially like officially factually the most Christmassy country in the entire world so apparently that's a thing guys what's your favorite thing about Christmas I think mine is opening presents and I know that's really shallow. <laughs> See, I actually love the run up to Christmas. I find it really magical, but I honestly am not the biggest fan of Christmas day. Oh my God, why did you eat your meal so fast? You're supposed to bloody enjoy it for Christ's sake. Do we have Christmas crackers? Open holiday cracker. Oh my why did she just open it by herself? Excuse me? Why did she just open? Do they not open it together? What the hell? What on earth is going? Why is she opening it by herself? What on earth is going on? Shanice received a special collectible plushie from the holiday cracker. There's also a joke scrawled on the slip of paper. What does Bone Hilda say after preparing dinner? Bone appetite. Well, that was actually quite funny. I admit that was a good one. But why did she open it by herself? According to Google, it is a British tradition. I feel like the American developers of The Sims 4 just took the Christmas cracker and they didn't research properly how to actually open it and use it so they just made The Sims do it themselves. Like Christmas crackers, you're supposed to pull them with somebody else. Sims team, please update this and take notes please. One person grabs one end, the other person grabs another and you pull it. And whoever gets like the end with the bit in it, you win the prize. And it comes with a Christmas hat that you wear on your head and you have to wear it whilst you're eating Christmas dinner. I can't believe The Sims team coded it in so they open it by themselves. That is a disgrace of British Christmas tradition. I am deeply offended. The Sims 4 is cancelled. Anyway, I've decided to change Shanice's outfit and Chantal's outfit to be more Christmassy. And yes, as Father Winter and Shanice are getting married, I have changed her formal outfit to a surprise outfit choice. You will be very surprised. Oh my god, Father Winter's here. Oh my god, hello, sir. Chantal's gonna fight him for presents because she's a greedy bitch. He has absolutely no idea what he's getting himself in for coming here. <laughs> So, of course, we are going to be making Shanice Shanice try to woo Father Christmas. Although, where is he going? Oh, is he putting presents there? Thank you, sir, but I don't want your gifts. I just literally want your money. And then I want to woohoo you until you die. Although, Shanice, I can't say you're the sexiest you've ever looked. <laughs> 
Oh, declare love publicly. I think that's a bit too strong to start off with. I love how he's just standing over there and she's talking to him from the sofa in classic Sims 4 fashion. Oh, it's an awkward encounter. That's not too good. I know what happens at midnight, like Father Winter does leave you lots so and we've got to hurry up. Shri, okay, I'm just going to add him to the household. I'm sorry, sir, but I'm stealing you. Otherwise, like, it's never going to happen. Oh, Father Winter is making his first move. Absolutely sultry. Sir, you are absolutely lame. You are so fit. I love how Chantal Chantel is just sat there whilst they're flirting like a third wheel. <laughs> Makes it even worse that she's on the rocking chair. Oh look, we can have a first kiss, lovely. Well, there we go, step one into firstly killing him and secondly stealing his money. Chantal is watching along like, oh my god, what are you doing? I think, okay, we can do the first woohoo. It is official, we are able to woohoo. I love how for Chantal, Christmas day successful. Shanice, Christmas day successful. Father Winter, Christmas day was awful. <laughs> That's because he knows what's about to happen to him. Anyway, I would like to move things on and like get married as quick as possible. Propose, can we propose yet? Oh, we don't have a high enough friendship. All I can say is thank God for the social bunny. The exploitive thing it is for making it so easy to raise up friendships in The Sims 4. All right, let's go Shanice, propose to your man. Will he say yes? Will he say no? What is he gonna say? He said yes. Oh my God, absolutely lovely. <laughs> Well, that can only mean one thing. A Shanismus is not a Shanismus without a very, very sultry wedding. An LGBT sleigh wedding to be exact. Although we don't have any friends, so our guests are basically just these snowmen that we've built. Nobody else wanted to attend, I wonder why. Although Chantal can have a chair. Anyway, time to get married, please. Let's hope this works. I do have autonomy off for a reason. <laughs> oh my God, wait, 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 stop, stop, stop. You're not in your wedding outfits, I forgot. Oh my God, I forgot. Like literally the most important thing. Oh my god, she's clipping through the wall. How could I forget that? Shanice, get in your LGBT sleigh Christmas wedding outfit, please. Chantal Chantal, the bitch she is, she's actually got her own special wedding outfit. Yes, yeah, she does have the Star Wars mask on because she wanted to outdo Shanice, so she got an alpha wedding dress just for the occasion. So, it is time to get married. Chantal is like, oh my god, I can't deal with this anymore. Do you take me to be your lawfully wedded rich husband? Yes, I do. Absolutely. Oh my god, Shanice, <laughs> the way, oh my god, I'm gonna have to replay that. The way he kissed her and she was like, oh, get off me. <laughs> that is like true sugar baby fashion. <laughs> That is the best thing to happen this Let's Play. Absolutely lovely. Now they are married. And now it is time to kill him off. I do apologize, sir. Chantal, Chantal can say sat there freezing to death. Meanwhile, we are going to be literally woohooing Father Winter over and over and over again. Just when he thinks he's done, he is not done. Wait, oh my God, he's not actually an elder. Oh my God, he's not even technically an elder. What the hell? Of course he's not gonna bloody die from woohooing. Oh, for Christ's sake. Right, Shanice. Bake a birthday cake, please. We've got to age him up. One absolute nightmare. I'm telling you now. This has got to be the most horrific and traumatic Let's Play I've ever done. This is not how it was supposed to go. Right, Father Winter, come here, please. Age yourself up. Blow out the candles now. You've got to age up into an old man. Oh my God. Just as he's aging up, Chantal Chantal is freezing to death. Absolutely love that for you, Chantal. Well, there we go, Chantal. Goodbye you. She said, oh my God. I wasn't supposed to die in this Let's Play. <laughs> Look at the way the wedding dress is just poofed up. <laughs> Well, goodbye you, who cares? Because me and Father Winter have some woohooing to do. I know you're sad, but Father Winter's money is more important than your sister's life, I am afraid. So please, please, please get to woohooing as your sister is casually frozen to death in a Star Wars mask in an Alpha CC wedding dress and the Grim Reaper is downstairs. There are better things to be focusing on. And again, please, sir. Oh my God, the Grim Reaper's in the room. He's like, I know what's about to happen in here. Let me just wait. I love how they are literally doing it whilst Grim Reaper is just watching TV. Grim Reaper is watching some kind of brick wall. He's literally watching a brick wall. I'm not sure what's going on there. Unsatisfied from mediocre woohoo. Well, I'm afraid Shanice Shanice will do that to you, sir. They have woohooed three times now with him as an elder, so he's not dead yet, thank God. We've still got a little bit more left to go. Is he gonna die this time? Is it gonna be fourth time lucky? I'm quaking in anticipation. Oh, no, he's not dead yet. He's very happy now. That can only mean one thing. Thing, another woohoo. They've had woohoo about 10 times in a singular day. I wonder how many times we're actually going to do it until he actually just gets, you know, 
Uh. Oh, he's got uncomfortable moot lips. He's dangerously tired from the strenuous activity. That is a good sign. Is it a sign that he's gonna die? Oh, he's not dead yet. I think he's got one more left in him. He's stinky. Oh my God, he's literally stinky. <laughs> He's so smelly. He's like, I don't want to do it anymore. All right, go on. Take a bath, mate. If you want to have a bath, have a bath. Even Shanice is incredibly stinky. She's got green smoke coming out of her, but Father Winter does not care because he is getting what he wants. And Shanice is also about to get what she wants. Oh, she gave up and now she wants a bloody bath. For Christ's sake, Shanice, you're so unromantic. 100th time lucky. Come on. Is it going to happen? He's still dangerously tired. Right, I'm just going to have to cheat the bloody needs up because they keep complaining all the time. All right, come on. One more woo who will do it oh my gosh he's still not dead how many bloody times how much do you have left in you sir this is not normal this is honestly not normal i'm honestly getting sick and tired now this is a christmas disaster not a christmas miracle looks like somebody has wet themselves on the floor so that happened whilst we've been woohooing a hundred times i mean i am trying i'm really trying my best i feel like i'm doing something wrong but i don't know what i'm doing wrong now what's oh my god God, now oh my god he's passing out on the bloody floor for christ's sake oh well at least it's gonna make a good screenshot if anything good comes out of this it is a bloody screenshot although if i do use this as the official screenshot of the video then the video will definitely be demonetized the sims 4 is honestly way too safe i'm telling you now i've tried so hard to make it happen and it's not happening right do you know what i'm installing the extreme violence mod i've had enough oh i stand correct the game is frozen. Isn't that lovely? <laughs> I'm telling you now, like, this is not a Christmas miracle. This is a Christmas nightmare. Right, now, with all due respect, sir, you are getting macheted. I have honestly, Father Winter, had enough of your crap for long enough. I'm sick of it, and I just want you to get out of my life. Oh my god, it's not even, oh my god, there's an animation glitch, and we could not even see it happen. Is he even dead? What on earth is going on? We can't interact with him. Oh my god, nothing even happened. The animation didn't even work. Guys, I'm sick of it. This is the worst Christmas day of my entire life. Right, Shanice, you can go as well because I hate you. Goodbye, Shanice. Everybody's dead. Everybody's gone. Guys, if you're watching this on Christmas Day, why are you not spending your time with your family? Why are you on YouTube?